Hey, it's Clay and this will be a video chart on Bitcoin. We will take a look at the four hour time frame. Real quick, if you're not sure what I mean by four hour, if you're new to charts, instead of each one of these candlesticks as they're called representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents four hours. So this here may look like a few weeks worth of time. It's actually just the past few days broken down into four hour time slices. I like to this time, Frampton has a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Friendly reminder, Bitcoin is open 24 seven. So if you're watching this video, you know, 15, 20 hours from now, maybe even a couple of days from now over the weekend at some point, yeah, the chart's gonna look different for you. But my goal here from the presentation standpoint is to keep this video relevant for as long as possible. And I'm gonna accomplish that by talking about more so general levels and then walking you through some questions. And based on how you answer those questions, that'll dictate the current status of the chart. Well, as of right now, uh, the bears continue to uh, you know, take bites out of this thing. And the price actually temporarily dipped below the $10,000 mark, uh, but did recover nicely. And as of the recording of this video, you know, the price has been going sideways. But the big update that needs to be done is, and this update is just based on a foundation rule in charting, which states when levels of support are broken and closed below, they tend to act as resistance. And you can see this, play, I mean, you could throw this right into a textbook. I mean, the price broke down below 10,500. And then on the bounce back up, look right where the price is now currently struggling, right at 10,500. Now the good news is, is as of the recording of this video, the price is well within striking distance. So question number one that you're gonna need to ask yourself. So I'm jealous of those you get that get to watch this, you know, several hours from now or even a couple days from now, you're gonna have a lot more information. But where's the price at relative to 10,500? Meaning, has the price been able to break up above that level? So in other words, if you're answering the question that the price is actually up above 10,500 whenever you're watching this video, well then that would imply that you got the breakout and that's a step in the right direction. Now there's a whole lot more work that needs to be done, but getting up above and being up above 10,500 would imply that not only has this consolidation continued, but it's also gotten enough strength that you know starts to show some signs of upward strength. So 10,500 is going to be very important for that reason, uh, you know, and just kind of help gauge the health or lack thereof of this current consolidation. On the flip side of things, if you're saying, well, no, Clay, the price is actually still down below five or 10,500. At that point, I wouldn't say the end of the world uh, because you still do have this other area of support uh, that I, I would certainly consider a very important level. Let's get this changed to green there for support. But that would be down here at the 10,000 round number. So if you're saying, well, Clay, the price is still down below 10,500, but it is up above 10,000. Well, then at that point, you know, you could use one word to summarize that price. I mean, that would just be consolidation. But if you're saying, well, Clay, it's actually, the price is actually down below 10,000 right now. Well, that, that's a very bearish situation because that would imply that this sideways movement right now has failed to the downside. Now, how bad would it be? Well, gut instincts, common sense at that point, meaning, well, how far down below 10,000 is it? And the further down below 10,000 the price may be, that's just the more bearish of a breakdown it has become. So overall though, 10,500 and that $10,000 mark, two very, very interesting levels here headed into Labor Day weekend. So let's see what happens with it. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too, good, way too good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.